Hello and welcome to the Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebane. We've got some more new goodies in the shop today that I wanted you to take a look at. We're starting to get our holiday and winter collections in. We always do a big 12 Makes of Christmas series every December and so you can check that out. There's lots of videos and ideas so you can get started now on your holiday projects. We'll also uh, include them in our email that goes out with this video. So if you're not subscribed to our email list, head on over to shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com and you can sign up there. You get a 10% off discount that you can use on your first purchase, including this brand new fabric. And also make sure you're also liked and subscribed on YouTube. They changed their algorithm. So if you want more people to get all the good quilty tutorials that we put out, you're gonna wanna make sure that you subscribe. All right, so let's take a look at this collection. First up, we have Winter Frost by Bocaccini Meadows. This is a really fun collection because it's not really red or green or blue blue, uh, but it definitely has that winter vibe feel to it, but it's in those nice cool grays and some like taupes and grayages uh, that is really popular right now in home decor. So this is definitely something that you can create whether or not you celebrate Christmas. You can have a nice winter quilt and it will just be lovely and you can have it out all season long. You don't feel like you have to put it away as soon as December 26 hits. First up, we have these really fun pine needles and little sprigs of holly green, so definitely winterish. Next, we have some fun little light brown stars. They're super cute and pretty. And, you know, it's holiday y, but it's not like in your face old Saint Nick. These gingerbread are just so cute. I feel like you could do all kinds of winter baking projects with this. You need some new oven mitts or um, aprons. This would be a really cute one, especially to make with the little ones who you intend to make cookies with in the winter time. All right, so this is one of those like taupey grazes uh, that's in there. And it's just like a little dotted line. It looks like little flurries going through, but it really helps tie everything together. You really need these smaller prints in order to help balance out and support the bigger prints because this one is like the perfect complement to our gingerbread men and our little cookies. And that way you can just help bring out the browns that are in here and help them just shine even more because you surrounded them with light colors. We've got another tiny little print. It's little evergreen trees uh, going in many different directions. So you really just don't even have to worry about any kind of directionality. You can use it any which way. All right, so this one is super cute. It is people wearing random holiday hats. It's fun. Let's take a look at some of these a little closer. All right, so we just have like an outside cap. This woman has a whole Christmas tree. This one's got a scarf, a nice little, looks like one of those Russian fur caps. I mean, it is just across the board. Uh, we've got an elf hat here. This guy actually kind of looks more like a pilgrim, so wrong holiday. But it's just really fun holiday hats. And I think this one would be good. You wouldn't have to fussy cut it because the repeat is, is pretty, it look, makes it look random. So you would be able to cut it and definitely get uh, these guys to be in whatever square you need without fussy cutting, but you certainly could, like if you're into EPP or something and you wanted to just fussy cut out this lady with the Christmas tree hat, you totally could do that. I just inherited part of a Dickens village from my grandmother. And this kind of reminds me of that, where you have like the little houses and the church and there's a little ski lift going up and people are pulling sleds and there's a moose. And it just, it's a nice little snowed in, you know, winter village is very quaint. Here's that blender print we saw earlier again, just in gray this time. And so we're gonna move now into more of the grays and out of the ones that are more brown um, for this next half. All right, we've got our Christmas trees again, just this time with that gray background. It makes the trees look pretty, the greens pop, I think a little more on this one. Here is that holiday Snowden village again, just this time it's much more packed in and the houses are much larger. So they're taking up a little bit more space. It's definitely a busier print. This this one I would definitely consider one of the focal prints. All right, here we go again with the swirls. This one is more of a medium gray, I would say, but again, it helps, it's gonna support all of these prints because look at how good that looks with that one. More stars, this one with a very deep, almost black background. It's, it's a little textured, it looks like a little bit of charcoal. And then just a, those little gray stars this time instead of brown. And now we're back to the sprigs, except this time it's with a nice black background. And so, again, Again, the colors look almost brighter against it. It's really kind of fun. 
All right, so here is the collection all together. I think it is looking absolutely fabulous. You can see this is the exact same print, but it really looks different when you look at it with that white background. It's actually kind of a cream versus the very dark background here. And you can see this doesn't scream happy holidays, but it definitely is a winter quilt. So no matter what you celebrate, you can absolutely make a quilt out of this. You could have some fun Christmas projects with it as well. Uh, there is a trend now uh, where you can make your own wrapping paper and Christmas bags. And we have a video tutorial for that as well um, as one of our 12 Banks of Christmas. And so you really can just really have a lot of fun with this and maybe have an eco-friendly uh, wrapping gift exchange if you start early. That's the key, right? I know it's June. I know we don't want to think about the holidays, but that's how we end up sewing until about 3 a.m. on Christmas Eve because I know I've been there before. I know you guys have too but you can definitely get this done now and enjoy it from the day after Thanksgiving all the way through probably till like, you know, February when it finally starts to show some signs of spring. This is a very uh, long lasting quilt that you could have out this holiday season. All right, well, we will link to our playlist that has our 12 Banks of Christmas. We've done it for, I think, three years now. So there's lots of ideas of things that you can make for the holidays in there. There's supposed to be fun, fast, simple gift ideas. There are fat quarter friendly patterns in there as well. We also have yardage, as you can see behind me, and it just looks really pretty. Like this is just like, it's just calming to me. And the holidays can be such a busy, crazy time, especially for us ladies who have to like do all the work of getting the gifts and making the food and all of that, that I think this is just a really fun way to just kind of calm you down at the end of the night. You sat down, you did a lot of work that day on top of whatever else you normally have to do. And this just looks fabulous and it's calming and you can have your little mug of hot cocoa and put it on one of our mug rug patterns that you can also get for free that are holiday themed. So check that out all over at shop.quiltedexonomous.com. We also got some new beginner kits in and I finally got smart enough to order two bolts of the background fabric so that we can have more available uh, because you can only get so many out of one bolt. And so this way we can have, I think there's 11 available of this one. The collection is called called frond of you instead of fond it's frond because there are fronds in here we're having a, sort of a theme of woodland stuff today um, but it is really cute uh, when it comes you get your little sheet of what it's supposed to look like so that way you can keep that with the project and the pattern is free it's part of our beginner quilting series it is a 12 part video series that you can watch for free on our website and it takes you all the way through the things you need to get started and educate you about the different types and quality levels of fabric and why you want to be able to get the best that you can um, for quilting fabric so that it will last and behave properly for you if you ever have wanted to just like throw things against the wall because they keep stretching out of place it's probably your fabric it's probably not you and then of course it teaches you about how to cut how to sew how to read a pattern how to make sure you're sewing a correct quarter inch seam how to quilt it how to bind it how to take Take care of it when it's all done. It is a very extensive series. We've had people watch it who have quilted for years and still got something out of it. So it's definitely something you want to check out. And you can do, get that just by getting the free pattern for the split nine patch. And you can watch it as many times as you need. All right, so let's take a look at some of these fabrics because they're super cute and they're super fun. And we don't have the traditional white background. We are doing a peachy background, which is in all of these prints. So it just helps pull out like the peach and the owls and the flowers and the little snails. So we're gonna take a quick look at these fabrics uh, and then you can grab a kit. There's 11 available, which is more than we normally have, but uh, it probably will go fast because this is super cute. So if you follow me for any length of time, you know that I love owls. My very first fabric collection was full of owls. We still have a bunch of that left, by the way. But this is just so cute and adorable. And I feel like this is a fabulous focal print. And you're going to want to make sure that you are uh, making this work so that it can be upright in your... Uh, 
in your quilt. So that is fun. And then this one is also super cute. There are little snails and mushrooms and bees pollinating. And it's just really adorable. I think some butterflies or maybe they're moss, but it's just a lovely little garden. And then this print is so, so cool. I'm gonna actually unfold this all the way so you can see it. Look, it's just snails and they're different sizes and they're kind of going in waves for texture. So when you look at it from a distance, like we're looking at it now, it just looks like this cool wave of color. But then when you get closer to it, you can see they're all tiny little snails. So it's cute. Uh, snails are in the garden and, but it's just, it's fun because it's one of those where when you get closer to it, it adds more visual interest. So it really is a fun, fun print. We were all kind of ooing and aahing over it. All right, now we have our fronds for Frond About You. And then there's tiny little ladybugs on there too. It's not like red red, it's more of a pinky red. So it definitely works really well with the rest of these fabrics. Then we have these cute little puffs of flowers with little bees pollinating them and getting the pollen and bringing it somewhere else. And it really is cute, really is adorable. The yellow ties in really nicely with some of the yellows that we see over here. And then the pinks, they're kind of a dusty pink. And so it ties in real well with here and the background fabric and the snails and the flowers and the owls and they just do a really great job with color on this one it all ties in really nicely and you can see and you don't have to do this you can put it in any which way you want but for the one that we did for the sample I put it together so that the this print would be in that center that eventually gets split into smaller squares because I thought that this was the one that was very different in terms of tone it's much lighter than these um, so that would be a nice little pop of color and it would help create balance when you put the quilt together so that's kind of how I arranged that but this is how the kit comes when it arrives it's got everything you need for your top and your binding and it has has the little uh, printed out of what it sh or what it could look like if you decide to lay it out the way we did, and then we've got what it is your beginner kit and that your split nine patch PDF pattern is a free download on our website, so you know where to get it. You can just print it off and stick it in here, so that way you've got everything ready to go when you're ready to pick up this project. And it really this is how we put all of our kits together so that everything is nice and tidy and ready for you. Because I don't know about you, but I definitely have where there are sometimes things kind of hang out for a little while before I can get to them and, and I get that. I've, I've been there, I've, I've been that quilter. So this way everything is where you need it to be. All right, well definitely go like and subscribe our channel, YouTube Changes Algorithm. So if you wanna, we have lots of free video tutorials too. We don't just show you the new fabrics, although we try to do that whenever we have something new in. Um, one thing that's not in this video that is supposed to be arriving today is Tulip Pink Curiouser and Curiouser. We got fat quarter bundles and then we got my favorite prints on the bolt. So it's a large collection. I picked my favorites that I thought that you guys would like as well to sort of create your bindings and your backings um, and any borders that you would might want to put for with your fat quarter bundle and you can use those I thought they're the ones that really stood out the most or that I know you guys would like like cats because you know I, you guys all love a good cat fabric and especially if it's tool and cats like I know that that's gonna go quickly. So we don't have it yet in-house. It's supposed to be arriving the day that I'm filming this. Um, by the time this comes out, I don't know how much we'll have left because you know it's Tula. Tula has high demand. She's got a lot of, of followers. If I still have it when we are filming our next What's New video, we'll put that out there. But uh, make sure you like and subscribe here on YouTube. Make sure you sign up for emails over at shop.quiltedexonomist.com. You can use 10% off your first purchase if you do that and also if you uh, get the split nine patch pattern you will get an exclusive coupon code that you can use for 20% off anything that you would need to get started you can definitely save a little bit because I know if you're like graduating from your big box store fabric to your quilt shop fabric like that can seem a little scary from a price standpoint but once you start sewing with quilt shop quality cotton you will feel the difference and you will notice the difference in the longevity and how it feels and wears over time because we put so much time and effort into this we want it to be something that is comfortable to snuggle up with and that will last for a long long time and cool shop quality cotton hands down beats uh, big box store quilting cotton it's just 
you know, I came across some old stuff in my stash and I could feel it. I knew exactly where it came from and it wasn't a cold shop by the feel because it was just so scratchy and rough and thin and it was just a huge difference. But anyway, that's enough. I'll get off my soapbox now. Go check out the things over at shop.quiltanatomics.com. Like and subscribe and we will see you in a tutorial next.